There are two enemies of the Jewish people that were defeated in today's Torah, in tomorrow's Torah portion. Ancient enemies, one of whom we still contend with to this day, and one, the other one, vanished into the dustbin of history. The two enemies are the Pharaoh from Egypt, and the other enemy is the nation called Amalek. And you see two different fates with two different consequences given to both enemies, very interestingly. What happens to the Pharaoh? We know that the Jewish people exit Egypt. Pharaoh has a change of heart. He takes whatever's left, whatever's left of his army and chases the Jews into the sea. The sea splits, the Jews go out, and the Egyptians drown and the Pharaoh drowns with them. There is an opinion that he actually survived it. But that's it. And Egypt is gone. Amalek, however, at the very end of the Torah portion, is a nation that we are specifically commanded by a biblical positive mitzvah to eradicate their name forever and ever until the end of time. What's the difference? Why is Pharaoh just gone? The nation is gone. He's gone. Their memory is merely a footnote. But Amalek, this idea of Amalek, or whatever they personify, endures forever and ever, and we have to continuously wipe out their name and their existence and what they stood for. And the answer is that Pharaoh was just crazy. Who is this God that I should listen to him? Why should I let the Jewish people go? I'm a God. I am a deity myself. I don't have to listen to other gods. That's craziness. As they say, I'm a shugana. Okay, let him drown in the sea. He'll get his just desserts. But what did Amalek do? Amalek attacked the Jewish people at the height of their powers after the ex after the ten plagues, on their way to the water, on their way to grab the Torah. They attacked from the rear, and they attacked the weakest ones of the Jews. And they said, you are nothing. You Jewish people, you have no intrinsic value. We're going to show that you have no value. We're going to attack you from the rear. The weak ones amongst you, the ones that have no value, we'll start from with you. We'll make our way to the front and show that you're not the nation of God, you're not important. That is not tolerable. The Almighty says, you Jewish people have inestimable value. You are the greatest, most beloved people that ever walked the face of the earth. No matter what anyone says about you, no matter what the New York Times, what the International Court of Justice says about you, you are children of God, you are the most powerful, valuable people that have ever walked the earth. And I will not tolerate someone doubting your self-importance and your self-value. And therefore, that nation that espouses that idea that you have to destroy forever and ever. Pharaoh, who just fought against me, God, you're a crazy person. I'll get rid of him. Don't worry about him. But the people who deny your existence and your right to being and your value and your importance, that you have to get rid of on a consistent basis every day until the Messiah comes. An amazing, powerful lesson that the Almighty teaches us from the way he destroyed two great, great enemies of the Jewish people in antiquity and how that one of them endures to teach us how powerful, how beautiful, how important we are as the Jewish people in the, in the eyes of the Almighty. Shabbat Shalom.